Hi everybody, welcome back to my gen channel. It's Jennifer from Jennifer's Diamond Paintings and Cross Stitch. I am doing my first um, diamond painting tutorial. Um, I have a friend that um, just started diamond painting and she was a little, um, I guess a little concerned about something. So I thought I would um, show her and everybody else that wants to learn, including my daughter who just learned, just got her first diamond painting um, the other night that I gave her for Christmas. So, um, and this is for really anybody that wants to learn how to diamond paint. Now, mind you, I'm not an expert. You know, there's plenty of other people out there that probably, you know, are that can better explain it than I can. But um, I just kind of learned as I went. So, you know, just, you know, bear with me. I mean, I'm not an expert and by no means. So, okay. The first thing that you need to do is you have your diamond painting pen. Now, you do get wax with your diamond painting kits and it comes like so and what you're going to want to do is there is a clear film on it you're going to want let me see if I can get it off here to peel that film off now this is your diamond pen there is nothing inside the diamond pen as you can see what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the pen and you can't see what I'm doing. Take it and there you have, you know, you guys can't see it. I can't. Okay, there you go. You're just going to want to stab it into the wax and then you'll have the wax in the pen. Make sure that there isn't any like, you know, little you know, pieces or whatever left over coming off of it. Okay. <clears throat> then your next thing is then you're going to start the diamond painting. Now, this is a this is one that I was going to start that I planned to start, but for the tutorial purposes, I decided to go ahead and do this. Start this one so that everybody could see you know what the tutorial is what's going on here why uh, okay I hope my thing's not dying on me here okay so you're going to peel back a section it doesn't have to be a big section it can be you know as big as you want it to be it doesn't have to be you know the biggest section there is I have a light pad but you know not everybody you know needs to have a light pad it's not you know that's just something that I have you're gonna go to your first symbol which for this is I picked 3772 you have the tray you're going to take your diamonds and put them in here and I try to put I don't try to like overload it and then you're going to want to shake it to where you will see the diamonds with the round side up if you can see that or not then you're going to want to do this Take the diamond, like so, and then place it on the symbol that you want it on. I noticed that there are, okay, there are a couple of videos that say you don't need wax, and I've never, I've never heard that but you know that's not to say that's not true um 
but you're going to want to place it on the symbol. And I, I can't, I don't think I can get any, any more closer without it going blurry. I will try, but I'm not guaranteeing anything because, all right, that's about as good as I'm going to get. All right, you find the symbol and you just place it. On the symbol I mean once you learn how to do it it's pretty easy I learned from doing partials and um, stuff like that but um that's basically that and then when you're done with that symbol, you put them back in there and you start the next symbol. And you will know once the pen is not, you know, sticky, the wax is not sticky enough inside of the pen. And then you'll just need to, you know, go back through and do the same thing. <clears throat> and stab it and go through and that's really all that is um they do give you bags in the tutorial and the this this didn't come with well yes it did these bags came with it already um labeled and everything but i myself have these i bought these on amazon i can't remember how much this this um thing was and i also have these and all I did was just you know put them in the little containers and go from there but I mean that's pretty easy that's the wax part now I know a lot of people use washi tape so do I like down here you could probably put washi tape down here which you know is this but I'm not using it for this this one. And you just stick it down here and, and you can put it around um, this. If it's a big canvas like this, like the one I have, and I'm sorry, I keep zooming you in and out. If it's a big canvas like this, <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I rolled it on this foam roller that I got with my, um, um, yeah, with my Sons of Anarchy, um, diamond painting that I got. But that is really basically, um, all that you do. The, you always make sure that this, this, um, OPEC cover will keep your, your um canvas from getting dirty and this is not doing a very good job i don't know why it did that but um i'm trying to think like i said i am not an expert by any means but um you have the key that tells you the symbols to follow up here and it gives you the right you know the the measurements and also the um the picture of what it's going to be and I usually when I do when I kit mine up and I, I guess I'll do a kitting up for um for this one when I get done my um ever moment I usually go numerically ordered and put them in here like I did for my ever moment I did 154 159 317 and 356 in numerical order and it just makes it easier for me to do it that way and a lot of people have different you know containers and stuff that they use um I do know like um where did it go my daughter she doesn't have these little bags um, the one I got her for Christmas, 
didn't come with little bags. So she's using sandwich bags and she's taking a, a permanent marker and writing on it the number of it. Um, you can do that. Um, you can even, no, can't do that. I even have this as I've shown in one of my other videos. This is, yeah, Craft, Craft Mates Lockables. And I have this, which I'm going to use for, for this. So I will show you guys how I use this. But, um, truthfully, you really don't need to be spent, you know, you really don't have to spend a whole lot of money. There, you know, I did because I don't have, you know, I didn't have things like, you know, the lockables or, you know, containers to hold, you know, even the bags. I didn't have the containers to hold these. My daughter had this that she got one year for Christmas. And um, right now it's holding um, my drills for uh, my error moment that I am, um, my extras. But she's using that. Um, I'm trying to think. Sometimes they will give you tweezers also. These came with my ever moment and I love these tweezers. And I think, yeah, mine, the, my who can came with tweezers, but I, I just, those are too flimsy. And what happens is, say for instance, you put, you try to put a diamond down on the canvas and I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna stick it somewhere that it's not supposed to be. You realize that you've put it on the wrong symbol and you just take your tweezers and of course this isn't going to work on this and you know it's not gonna work there we go and you put it you can place it on the symbol that you want it on um, I don't use them just because my hands are too shaky sometimes to do that and I, I'm you I'm and not like that I'm used to the diamond pen so for me it's just easier to do the diamond pen there's the the three placer which is this and it's the same thing with that you which I doubt I'll ever use it but you can stab that and put the glue on that and then let me see if I have I don't know if it's going to work for the rounds so that's why I'm trying to figure out and hold on and you go and you pick up well I have two on here but that's okay you can pick two and you can just place them on the where the symbol is and that's how that works then you do get other you know bigger placers I'm not sure how big a placer that is I've never I've never really used these because of the simple fact I'm just used to the one putting one you know diamond down at a time um, I think that's the only I feel like I'm missing something to tell you guys and I'm not sure <coughs> I do keep my um, canvas stationary with where is it with um, I know a lot of people make a big you know they kind of look at me like and they kind of like are shocked that I do this but I bought duct tape and I got the I got a whole bunch of it from Amazon for um, I don't can't remember how much it was but I take this when I want so that the, you know the canvas doesn't move on me and I just I don't pull off I don't cut off a very big piece and I just sit it 
there and to hold it on. So that way the canvas doesn't move around. And, but that's basically my tutorial. I know I'm probably, it's probably not the greatest tutorial in the world. Um, but that's what I learned. And eventually you can, you can get a light pad. You know, you, if you have a good light, like, I cross stitch also, and I have my alt light out here, and that that would probably work just as well. And but I use the light pad because for me, I like the light pad, and not only that, I it was given to me. But um, I'm like right now, this is coming apart. That's nice. Um, hang on, I don't know why it's like that. Okay. So, um, I think that's really it of how to diamond paint. Um, if you have any questions, like always, please um, comment um, below and I will try to answer your questions as the be to the best that I can. Um, of course, this is coming off. Whoops. Um, that's basically the tutorial. I know it probably sucks and I'm sorry. Um, but if you have any questions, please, you know, please don't hesitate to comment, um, your question below and I will try to answer as best I can. It's really, I know when I started diamond painting, I wasn't sure if, of how hard it was. And of course, as you see now, my kids, my two girls and I like it. So it's, I really like doing it and it's just as fun as cross stitch. <laughs> so, but that's it. And I hope this helps some of you with your questions. If not, like I said, please, you know, subscribe and, um, and comment below with any questions that you have and I will try to answer them to the best that I can. And thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Have a good afternoon.